Um, right now we're inside of our giraffe barn and the reason that we're inside here is because right now the temperature is high enough for them to be outside but right now there's still snow on the ground from the storm that we just had recently. So whenever the temperatures go into the 30s um, or if we have hazardous conditions on the ground we actually have to have them stay inside until we can make it safe enough for them to go outside. What we're trying to do is we're trying to mimic um, the expression of natural behavior of giraffe in the wild. So in the wild, a giraffe would spend a lot of time what's called browsing. So they would go up to trees, they grab branches, they strip the leaves off, they chew their ruminants, so they actually chew cud, um, and that's a process that takes many hours every day. Um, so instead of just plunking a bowl, uh, you know, a bowl of food down and you know calling it a day and having them get done eating in five minutes, what we do is we make it challenging for the, them to eat their food on a daily basis. So we put it inside of objects that they have to work to get the food out of. We give them things to chew on. We give them movies to watch. We give them objects to ma manipulate. Uh, basically anything that's novel and interesting that they can explore throughout the day. Keepers always have to be creative and thinking. Um, so what he had done is said, hey, we got these big walls in here. Why don't I try and set up a projector and put a movie on the wall and see if the giraffe react to it? And so they did. <laughs> and so they actually spent some time, you know, an hour plus watching that movie. And that was really striking for us, you know. So for an animal to be interested enough to stop what they're doing for that length of time and pay attention to something else means that we have hit on something. We found something that they're really, really interested in. I personally consider uh, all the animals that are here with us at the zoo that are under our care to be ambassadors for their wild counterparts. Um, a lot of people will um, you know, say, well, it's not nice to take animals out of the wild, um, but uh, the problem with humans is, is that we tend to be sort of out of sight, out of mind, and if we don't see these animals up close, if we don't get to have this kind of you know, sort of amazing interaction and see how amazing a giraffe is and how big they are, and how really cool they are, we might not ever really think about them. Um, giraffe are actually threatened in the wild. Their populations are declining um, very, very steeply, and a lot of people didn't realize it was getting as bad as it is. Um, and I really feel that the way to get people to be passionate and empowered and interested in taking care of the wild is to give them a, um, a close experience that really is memorable, um, that makes them want to be passionate about about preserving these animals far away.